Today, I'm gonna to talk about why you need to have high standards and low expectations. Now, in my experience, most people have the opposite. They have low standards and high expectations, and that creates a lot of problem. So, you'll, people will accept all kinds of crappy behavior from other people. Their standards are low, they don't even seem to have them, but then they're upset when people don't treat them well and because their expectations were too high. So you really have to change that around to have a happy life and to have truly connected and meaningful relationships. So what do I really mean by that? Is that you, first of all, you need to identify your standards. I talk to people all the time and I'll say, well, what are your standards in a relationship? And they'll kind of look at me like, I don't know, uh, you know, this, I like this, I like that. No, not what you like, but what is your standard? What are the things, and it should be just, maybe three max, one, two, or three things tops. What are the things that if you don't have them, you are out? And this is also like your deal breaker. You know, you're the thing that if it's not there, you have left that relationship in the past, you have left that job, or if you didn't leave yet, you've, you know, started to write the resume, <laughs> started to look how to move out of that apartment, whatever that is, it's that one thing. And everyone's a little different for what that one thing is, but what that standard needs to be. And again, there can be a few of them. Uh, these standards, they really kind of flow from that overall deal breaker that you have, that overall one thing that just once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, so, you know, for some people it's trust or honesty. For other people it's uh, respect. Um, my thing is fairness. I get crazy when things aren't fair. It might be my Libra in nature, I don't know, but I really, I'm not okay when people are hypocritical. When they say one thing and do another, I, it makes me nuts. Uh, so if, if it feels unfair, like I'm getting treated unfairly, you know, someone else gets something I don't or whatever, uh, I have a hard time. I, I struggle a bit with that. And it's not that I don't, um, want to be respected and want to have trust and, and honesty in my life and love and all kinds of other things but there's just this sort of breaking point for me where I can put up with some things better than others and you have the same but my standards overall yeah there's a few of them and definitely fairness is one of them and respect is another biggie so and those are really my big ones I don't have a bunch other than that and there's things I like to see happen that are connected to that but they're not you know, completely with that standard. Now, having said that, so your, my expectations around that need to be low. In other words, that people cannot meet your standard 100% of the time. It is impossible. And now I'm gonna be clear that I'm not talking about any kind of violence or uh, you know, some kind of real abuse. Uh, it, those are situations that are very different. That's a one-time thing. If somebody hit me, I'd be done. There, there wouldn't be a, let's talk about that. Let's see if we can do that different later. So th those to me are different kinds of things, of acts of violence, et cetera. But I mean in day-to-day -day relationships and your day-to-day -day kind of way that you interact at work, with your romantic relationships, with your friendships, with everything, that there's just these standards that you really want to have met. Now, your job is to remind people when they don't meet your standard. That's your job. So if your standard is met the vast majority of the time, that's kind of how you know you're in a healthy, okay relationship and uh, okay situation. When it's not met the majority of the time, that's when you need to sort of perk up and go, huh, this, maybe this isn't the relationship for me. Now, again, you're, if you've ever been disappointed or frustrated, it means that your expectations were too high. That's kind of the definition, right? If you're disappointed or frustrated, it means you're expecting one thing and you got another. So expectation was too high. So, and because people can't meet your expectation all the time, again, you have to keep them somewhat lowered, okay? You have to keep them lowered. And so like I have an expectation, uh, a standard, sorry, that my partner treats me with respect. And there have certainly been times in all the years we've been together that, you know, he's been short with me or maybe was in a bad mood about something else and took it out on me. I don't know, something like that. Um, and th certainly that's not meeting my standard, right? I'm not being respected in that moment. However, the vast majority of the time he does act respectfully. He doesn't do those things. So for the few times that it happens, um, I either let it go Give, give a guy a mulligan, just say, wow, everybody's in a bad mood sometimes. I've been, I'm sure, 
crappy sometimes and you know it, it happens we're all human uh, and I don't always actually in those instances remind him of the standard I might just let that go but in other instances let's say maybe he was short with me every Friday when he came home from work maybe every Friday when he came home he was in a bad mood that would be a time when I would absolutely say something because it's happening it's recurring and we really have to get to the bottom of that to shift that dynamic but if it happens every once in a blue moon let it happen uh, so, so that, that's kind of how, how I do it. But in general, I just want you to be able to identify your standards and know what they are and understand where those expectations are getting in the way of your happiness around in life in general. So that's what I want you to do. Have high standards and low expectations. I have a wonderful little worksheet to help you identify what your standards are and your deal breaker and your standards and your expectations so that you can get clear on all this language and really start to live your life with these wonderfully high standards so you can feel confident and clear and have great boundaries in everything you do. And you can get that by clicking the little button. There's, I'm sure there's a link right here below this video. Uh, it won't be hard to find. Uh, that's it. I'm Dr. Abby Metcalf. I help people create lasting change in their relationships even if their partner won't do a thing.